You're nerds. Improv. Nerds. Okay, so when I was at the I.O., there was, if you had one woman on, on, on your team, it was a big freaking deal. Mm -hmm. Then there's this renaissance period coming. Mm -hmm. And Tina Fey's there, Amy Poehler, Rachel Dratch, Stephanie Ware. Mm -hmm. Laura right. Kraft, Jenna Laura Jolivitz. Kraft, yes. Mm -hmm. But there was a fear of women to, to study at I.O. So they had to make their own fucking team. And Jane ended up kicking everybody. Okay, so let's back up. What was the, what was the thing that prevented women to go to I.O.? Patriarchy. Of, meaning Dell. So anybody read Christopher Hitchens? I don't mean Dell. I mean Sharna and Dell. Okay. So um, Christopher Hitchens basically said, like, like the tagline is women aren't funny. But what he really said is that women have to be differently funny, pending what the patriarchy finds socially acceptable. And at the I.O., this like boys club of young white men were like, who do these girls think they are? And when Rachel and Tina came in, they were like, get over it. And it turns out they were just as good, if not better, and made room that like, oh shit, they're good, let's see who else. And then they would recommend somebody else and they would recommend somebody else and all of a sudden there were women everywhere. Because it turns out we can do it too. So let me ask you this, because there's a, there's a, a, Dell was quoted many times. To your when, face, women, women are props and objects and girlfriends. Right, <laughs> but he would say, women aren't funny. Nope. Okay, do you think he really he, meant that? No, he thought I was hilarious. Is that true? <laughs> yes. He actually, he, I think he found my ferocity. Mm -hmm. And like, so my dad is a sort of an old, bearded, track marked weirdo. So when Dell did that, like, Dell liked to scare people. And I wasn't afraid of him because he was like my dad. And I think he found that funny. Like, look at this little chick with brass balls. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna indulge that. So we be, actually became friends. But do you think when he said that, what did he really mean by that? Do you he, well, a product of his time, a product of his time. Like, the, well, you know, like he tells that story about Joan Rivers ruining the whatever and the, like. Tell us that story for people that. Oh, God, it's like a famous Second City scene where he says something about, she says, he says, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving you. And she says, but I'm coming with you. Or he says, I'm, I'm something, something about, something like, about what, the about the yes. what about the children? What about the kids, right? And it was a complete denial, and he sort of hated that about he, her. She said, I think, we don't have kids, and she gets a big laugh. Right, right. I'm, right. She, she's, she says, I'm leaving you, and he says, but what about the kids? And she says, but we don't have kids. Right? Like, he's trying to make this grounded relationship scene, and she fucking goes for the bits, right? <laughs> yeah. And he was like, but that's not your role. You're supposed to be my subservient wife, as all women play in all Second City scenes prior to 1967. Um, so you just think it was it was just a, a time? Yes, okay. I do. You don't think he really meant it? Well, maybe he liked to. Like, maybe he was convincing himself he meant it. Maybe it was pa patriarchal residue. Maybe it was like a thing, like a thing he could say to stir shit up. Because he loved to shock people. He but liked a, a, yeah, and and not only would he say like women aren't funny. Dell had a way of being like, you two are funny and the rest of you should kill yourselves. <laughs> it wasn't like everyone could do this. He would go, everyone could do this to two people. And these people fell into two different camps. I'm gonna show them I'm good anyway, and but what about me? Right, and fuck all of those people. And these people went on to be great people. So like this hardcore, I'm gonna scare you and only these two people are good, actually I think like pulled the best out of these people over here. Like that, that ranting and raving, that emotional thing, I think a lot of it was bravado. Millie, you know I've always loved you. No, you don't. I, I do too. Remember, here, these letters that I sent you from, over the, from overseas. I've read them all. <laughs> Millie, I got something for you. Oh, is it a lead? Yes. We got bills to pay? I know we do. It's a lead. You know Farmer Sam and, and Brown and Connie? Yeah. Well, he, he needs us to go and repair the roof there on the farm. You're a detective, not a roofer. I, I know, but I'm desperate. I'm drunk when I agree to it. Oh. Well, you know where your hammer is? I think so. It's around here somewhere. Here it is. I got it right here. And it still works. 